Next on the Fox 5 News at 1, answers to a cold case 34 years later. The new developments today from sheriff's detectives in the murder of an East County mother. Plus, Ukraine's president addresses our Congress, his desperate plea, and what he's asking for today. And, and changes are coming to one South Bay neighborhood. We'll show you the Fox 5 News at 1. Starts right now. Live from San Diego, this is the Fox 5 News at 1. Good afternoon, everyone. Thanks for joining us. I'm Maria Arcega Dunn. And I'm Andrew Luria. San Diego Sheriff's detectives say that they have solved a murder case dating back three and a half decades. And Fox 5's Liberty Zabala joins us now with how they crack this cold case. Liberty. Good afternoon, Andrew and Maria. Well, the Sheriff's Department says it used investigative genetic genealogy to help solve this case, to help identify a suspect in the murder of Diane Don more than three decades ago. And here are photos of Diane Don, who was murdered back in May of 1988. Deputies say she failed to show up to work, so a colleague went to her apartment in Santee and found she had been stabbed to death. Don's two-year-old son was also found wandering the apartment complex. Now, his mother would have turned 63 years old two weeks ago if she were still alive today. Homicide detectives kept working on her case using DNA technological advances in the years 2000, 2010, 2020, and 2022. Detectives found genetic matches that helped lead them to the killer, Warren Robertson, who did die back in 1999. But now, after 34 years, Diane's family have finally found some answers. At least there's an answer. It doesn't make the pain any better. It doesn't change the fact that her son doesn't know who she is. And our children will be raised together, but it's done. It's over with, and there's a killer that's off the street. Oh. And this is also the fifth time that the homicide unit has used investigative genetic genealogy to help solve a case and coming up on the news at four we will go through how this technology actually works for now live here in Kearney Mesa Liberty Zavala Fox 5 News.